heartbreaking week for parents of teenagers in Metro Atlanta. We've seen a number of teens gunned down, their lives cut short by a bullet. Wednesday, 18-year-old Joshua Torrance was shot in the back at an apartment complex in Atlanta. He just graduated from Best Academy on Friday and had dreams to become an architect. Then early Tuesday morning, 19-year-old Tyree Johnson and 16-year-old Grant Payton were killed, and a 15-year-old was also wounded. They were all shot outside a home in South Fulton County. Trayvon Richardson was found shot to death in the parking lot of a DeKalb County apartment complex on Monday. Just days after he graduated from Cedar Grove High School, police arrested another teenager for his murder. The recent rash of gun violence among teens has a lot of parents asking how they can keep their children safe this summer. Fox Eyes Portia Bruner has straight talk from police and coaches about what parents need to know to keep their children safe. Portia? Yeah, it's hard work raising kids, you know, even harder keeping them out of harm's way, especially in a place like Metro Atlanta, where gun violence sadly just appears to be a way of life for some folks. And with the rash of teen shootings that Tom just mentioned, cops and coaches alike say it's time for some straight talk with kids and their parents about the clear signs of trouble. School is out and so are all of the kids who are looking for something to do when they're not involved in camps or other programs that keep them engaged. DeKalb County Police Major Katie Johnson says that idle time often leads to trouble with unsupervised adolescents and teens. You know, parents have got to uh, find out what their kids are into, um, who they're hanging with um, and what they're doing, especially uh, all times of the evening. Coach Brandy Outlaw spends most of his summer days with adolescents, teens, and young adults, pushing them to stay in shape and out of trouble. He says parents lose their kids to the streets when they don't provide structure or positive role models in place when parents are absent. It takes a village to raise these kids, so you have to partnership with each parent, each teacher, each coach, each neighbor, everybody in the community has to partner to make sure these kids grow up in a safe and healthy environment. The coach and the police major both agree the signs children could be running with the wrong crowd are pretty clear. If your child has the latest and greatest fashions and they have a large sum of money and you know he or she, they are not gainfully employed, that is a red flag. The major says another red flag, new friends who share cash and flashy gifts. So the kids see their friends with them and sometimes their friends tell them how they get them by doing things that are wrong and these kids get caught up in that. Well, the coach and the major both agree it all comes down to teaching your kids some values, standards, their differences and the consequences and right and wrong. We'll have more on the story coming up tonight at 6, including what some of the parents of those kids you saw in that story are doing to keep their kids safe this summer. At the live desk, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Many people definitely want solutions. Thanks, Portia.